I came here to drink margaritas all weekend, ladies. We're finally going on vacation. We've been training non-stop. We have this little place out in the woods. Me and Yuri drove out here today on my motorcycle. Hey, I'm Mila, and I just got back from our vacation in Italy, visiting, you know, Sarah and stuff. And then I come back to Russia, and they're like, we're gonna go on a camping trip. And I'm like, okay, I'd love to go on a camping trip. Cheers everyone, we are on vacation. <sighs> Nothing like 48 hours of drinking, tanning, relaxing, Yuri Katsuki. It's, it's everything I needed and more. And Mila came, which is super exciting. And JJ, which is exciting for me. Distraction for the kids, which means I get more alone time with Yuri. Anyway, I basically plan on drinking all weekend, so let the fun begin. Uh, I don't think Victor has camped like a day in his life, not even an hour probably. Um, cause he, he had a hard time trying to help with the tent, but it was pretty cute. Um, I did hear him on the phone with a hotel that I'm guessing he is reserving a room for tonight. So that's a thing. So I am stoked to be on this vacation. First of all, I love vacation. Second of all, I've been on vacation at the Katsuki Nikiborov house this entire time. So it's like when they asked if I wanted to go camping, I was like, fuck yes, I want to go camping. First of all, we camp all the time in Canada. Like literally pretty much live in a tent. So like I knew I was gonna be the most prepared and the best because no offense, but Princess has never seen a tent before in his life. So, I was like, hell yeah, I got my safety socks on, ready to go camping. So, we're on vacation, which would be cool, except JJ's here, so what's the point, really? Ugh, oh, I can't believe they brought JJ. You know, if we don't like JJ being healed, take matters into your own hands. That's a great idea. I know it is. But what should we do? Scare him? That's yes. <laughs> well, since we're already at camp, let's just tell, you know, scary stories by the fire. Yeah! Scary stories like, what about the Yowie? The what? Yowie, you know, like, Australian Bigfoot. We probably shouldn't say those kinds of words around JJ. Yeah. So what else? What about the Babadook? Ooh, I like that one. So yeah? Yeah. Sure. Let's do this. 
So, we're gonna scare the crap out of JJ. So, like, I don't care that JJ's here. I mean, cool for him, you know, to visit us and stuff. But since Yurio is really into, like, getting back at JJ for whatever reason, I don't know, I will so help. <laughs> I got so many plans. So, I think we should talk about some scary stories. Great plan. Okay. So this one time, um, I went on a blind... Actually, I think Yuri has a great story to tell. Oh yeah, princess? Yeah. You ready? Better be good. If it's in a word or it's in a look, you can't get rid of the Babadook. See him in your tent at night and you won't sleep a wink. This is what he wears on top. It's funny, don't you think? And once you see what's underneath, you'll wish you were dead. Three sharp knocks. ba 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 duck Duck! Duck! If it's in a word, or if it's in a book, you can't get rid of. The <laughs> Wow, that was a good story, guys. Uh, I need a little. <laughs> not, not quite scary enough for me, but uh, you know, you gave it your best try. I thought your storytelling was a little aggressive. A little weak, a little weak on the storytelling. I thought it was cute that you were all involved. <laughs> that was cute. Yeah. I glad you guys are having fun. Yeah. I so. would say it was more of a comedy than a scary story. I wouldn't go that far. Anyway, I gotta take a leak. I'll be back. You guys have fun? You sure you didn't wet your pants? No, I didn't, but you can check if you want to. So normally I would be the one to take control of the fireside chats, but Princess had an amazing story to tell apparently, so I let him take the reins for once in his life. And, uh, you know, it was... It was alright. It was, it was a fine story. Was I scared? <laughs> Come on now. A king is never scared, okay? Okay, so tonight they wanted to tell scary stories. And, um, you know, I was expecting Yurio to tell, like, so something kind of freaky, because he just, like, he's like that, you know? But, like, he and Odebeck and Mila, they all teamed up and told us all about the Babadook. And, um, it was really, really, really good. Victor? Hey, come on. Victor, five minutes. No, 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 please, please. What, Yuri? I'm terrified right now. Of what? The Babadook. The what? The, you know, Yuri told us all about it today. It's freaking me out. I can't sleep. Okay, well, I've heard that the Babadook is actually, like, a gay icon. He is? Yeah, raging homosexual. He wouldn't come anywhere near us. You're sure? Promise. Okay. Besides, Yuri, I'm here to keep you safe. <laughs> so, Yuri wakes me up in the middle of the night. Couldn't sleep because of the Babadook. So, I improvised. I don't know. So I'm not gonna say I wasn't too terrified to sleep last night. Because I was. Uh, I had to wake Victor up and he was actually really helpful. You know, like, I just got to look into his beautiful blue eyes while he told me the Babadook was actually a gay icon. And you know, it was actually really comforting and kind of inspiring to hear that. Because, like, why would he hurt us? So I got to sleep, wrapped in Victor's arms. It was amazing. You know, this trip turned out pretty good. I hope the kids are doing okay. God, I can't believe they left me out here in this tent all alone. I thought they were just going to the bathroom. Where are they? Odebeck, is that you? I don't think Odebeck's that heavy footed. Baba, duke, duke, duke. Oh my God. No, JJ? You're just imagining things. We talked about this, we just have to breathe. Baba, Duke! 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 I'm just, I'm just imagining it. It's just a figment of my imagination. Baba, Duke! Duke! I better pinch Duke. myself because I think I'm dreaming. Oh my god, help! Odebeck, Yurio, Mila! Baba, Duke! You guys 
tried to scare me. Try? I think we actually scared you. No, 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 no. I knew it was you guys. That's why I was coming out here in the first place. Yeah? You didn't scare me. You sure? Yeah. Yeah, 100%. I don't know, man. Wasn't scared at all. Ba -ba 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 <laughs> Jesus Christ, so the back is such a jokester. <laughs> Uh, I think maybe we should go to the bathroom, JJ. I think you already did. <laughs> <laughs> did you guys see his face? It was awesome! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so did you see him? Oh my goodness. He totally peed his pants. Like, <laughs> oh my god. A plus. <laughs> So funny, he scared me in the tent. <laughs> you know, it was cute, it was cute. King is never scared though, like I said before. He never scared. What was that? <laughs> you got me again. Got me again. Anyway, overall, I think the vacation was 110% a success. Oh, and then we left without Mickey. He was fine, I'm sure. And then, you know, we went shopping. We found like these really pretty dresses. But, you know, Mickey didn't come, which was fine. I think we lost them someplace, like Hot Topic or something. I don't know. And then, you know, we just went out to the town. I don't know what Mickey was. I think he was talking to someone on the computer, like a meal or something. I don't know, I wasn't paying attention. So, yeah, anyway, tell me about you and all of that. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know, what's going on? Uh, what are you talking about? Oh, uh, come on, Yo-Yo. 